Now in this section we're going to look at the sales process within MYB Advanced. Now the best way to highlight this is under our distribution and sales order area and if I click on this sales order form we can see the actual sales order itself. Now within MYB Advanced um, the sales order process is driven by what we call our order types and our order types is the ability to allow your business to um, work out how you actually generate your sales and how you process your sales. So in the example of using a sales order type that would be used for um, a sales and shipment based business which means that you raise sales orders and then ship them directly out um, or you could actually use a cash sale option which allows you to take money at the time on the sales order and instead of generating a picking slip you can just take the stock out of your store and just give it straight across the counter. Now you can use different variations and you can use more than one um, order type if you need based on your business so it means it's fully flexible to handle how you actually trade. Now also you can use a customer portal which is another element within the system and that means that you can add contacts for your customers and make them um, give them access to the customer portal to raise their own orders which directly come into the system. Now another element that you can do as well is if you want to actually do things like drop ships or purchasing to order you can actually mark each individual line so for example if you haven't got any stock you can raise and say purchase to order to bring it in and then ship it or I can raise a drop shipment which then sends it off to your supplier to then supply the customer directly. Now when it comes to actually generating and adding them into the system you can simply either add in a single sales order and you can also use this feature called add stock item which from here I can actually pick out a warehouse so Auckland for example and I can then see what stock I've currently got to sell to this customer or I can even go sold since and that allows me then just to pick and see what they actually bought from us. So you can see from here that this external hard drive, they bought three of them in August of 2015. So we can actually see a history based on what they've previously ordered from us. Now like I said before, when you raise a sales order, you can either raise it singular or I can upload via this load records from file. So if they've provided a CSV file or an Excel file, I can just load it in via that. Or we can utilize our system integration area which allows us to import on mass uh, multiple orders or we could even use our API to feed it in from other systems if we need to. Now the system will also work with um, Magento. There is an add-on that actually ties into any websites that use the Magento system. Now when it comes to actually shipping we can simply create a single shipment directly from an order but what we can also do is from this processes tab if I click on process orders this is where MYB Advanced comes into its own now the reason I say this is from this screen I can simply pick out a single warehouse Auckland in this case or if I choose to I can actually pick out a single customer so right corners and if I go process all it would generate a single shipment or multiple shipments based on what you've set up now the beauty of this is that if I use this add automation it now allows me to then say that every hour I can then generate a shipment and you can see that it will generate a shipment for right corn and we can save that if we choose to and that will run behind the scenes. Now also if you add into that that I can then go to the process shipments area and print off pick lists or labels or even a shipment confirmation to add to the boxes that are going out. Now, like I said before, this is yet again um, automatable, so we can actually add that in, and it means that it will generate them for you and, and send them through to your warehouse. Now, the last step of it as well is we can then process our invoices, and we can then choose to email them out directly once we've actually sh um, confirmed the shipment in the warehouse itself. Now all of this is obviously good to know because it means that you can speed up the process and actually um, give you back extra time 
in the process that you would normally have to manually do. Now, the other thing I just want to point out when it comes to the sales process is the CRM system. Now, within MYB Advanced, we have the ability to actually use our customer management area, which is the CRM package within um, our software. Now, this means that we can actually generate leads. So we can generate and monitor leads. So for example, Keith Abbott, we can um, import these directly into the system or enter them in manually. And then from here, I can assign them what we call a lead class, which triggers a list of questions to be answered by whoever's processing these leads. So in this instance, you can see that we have what industry, number of employees, what are they looking for? Now these attributes are can then be changed um, based on what type of class we have. Now from here, a lead can then be converted to be a contact within an existing business, or they can be generated into what we call a business account, which is in essence a prospect. Now from that, we can then generate an opportunity and that means that we can go in and we can actually generate an opportunity for this business account so for toy for O'Neill's trading and we can then add in certain information but we can also assign it um, a class ID so an opportunity class ID in this case which is hardware and yet again there are attributes based on that class. So what operating system are they using and what type of hardware do they actually want? Now from here, I can then choose under the products tab to give them a more defined price based on what they've asked for. So I can see that they've asked for um, a server and a couple of desktops. And then from that, I can then raise activities to monitor and track and my contact for this opportunity. Now if they then call up and say we'd like to go ahead with that, we can then convert it and create a sales order within our distribution area. Now this just means that you can track all of your opportunities and then convert them across. Now the other thing that you can do as well is um, the system has a simplified marketing campaigns area and that means that I can generate a marketing campaign and actually track how many leads are against that marketing campaign or in fact how many opportunities have we got and how many opportunities have actually been converted into sales orders. Now that really completes the sales process area within the system. Thank you very much.